Guys, this is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing some Freya ADC. Freya is fresh off of a buff in the most recent patch, a pretty big buff too. Freya is going up almost double in her bonus damage at rank one on the two, and then getting like a 25% boost in the bonus damage at rank five. So pretty significant buff to the Freya too, because nobody plays her ever. So. <laughs> So it makes sense. And she did get pretty screwed. She was already somebody that suffered with wave clear compared to like basically any normal ADC. Um, maybe literally like even the mage ADCs. I think just anybody you play ADC, Freya probably had the worst clear overall. And so they buffed her too a lot, especially in the early game with the whole, you know, minions just being tankier than they used to be thing. It does help out a bit. Let's see if we can actually get some poke on the Chernabog here. It's kind of awkward, man. I feel like with Freya, one of the big issues with her so often, I say as I delete his face, um, <laughs> is that a lot of the time when people are running, you want to just use the two because you lose the slow if you prop the one, uh, which I think that might be didn't used to be true. She's been a god for so long. I don't even remember now. Like Freya has been in game since beta. It's crazy. I don't remember that now. I feel like for some reason or one way like way back once upon a time it used to also slow like used to just like still allow it and just took away the splash. That might not be true though. Anyways, a lot of time when we're chasing, we just want to pop the two, especially now that it's buffed because you don't like it's not as big of a damage drop off. It used to be the damage very much relied heavily on the one. Now it's a little less so. But but oh my God, man, the slow is so important. It's so hard to stick to anybody, at least early game. Once you have like hastened online, then who cares, right? Cause just hastened OP. But when we're early on, it kinda, kinda awkward that I feel like a lot of time the one doesn't exist so much. Well, he's looking for it. We don't really get to do anything with it. Let's do some smalls. Yeah, let's go do camp. Get one of these too. Yeah, he's gonna chase, you gonna be greedy? Don't let him have it. Don't let him have it. It's fine. You can, you can poke me with combo if you want, I don't really care. I honestly could care less. Oh, he doesn't have dash. Hang on, hang on. We're playing the long con right here. If we can get level three, next fight is good. Hang on, this fight is good. Because we get our two in a sec. And it maybe matters. It maybe matters a lot. He's maybe dead as hell. I'm not sure. Please, please be dead. Please no splash. Thank you, man. Thank you. I will, I will allow it. That Kepri takes last hit. Not that he tried. He just put a little tick on the man. You are building stacks. Building, <laughs> building stacks on those kills. <laughs> Yeah, I could actually, dude, I've never, in general, I don't care much about supports getting lasted or anything like that. Like, unless they just blatantly tank a free kill, which that was not. Yeah, when you chuck a three second tick damage ability and they die towards the end of it, I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, support. What are, <laughs> what are you doing? How did you not anticipate the exact amount of damage I was going to do? Oh, whoops. Yeah, I didn't expect that. That's fine. We can, we can just clear. It's whatever. Yeah, I actually had a game the other day, man. I got auto-filled into support, and I had this one guy get so mad at me because he kept dropping kills, and then I would last hit them because <laughs> he kept dropping them, so, like, I would clean them up. And it's like, dude, if you will just do more damage, if you will just play better forehead, you won't be getting your kills stolen because you'll just get the kills. It's so funny when people do that, man. It's like, yep, that's right. I didn't anticipate you waiting three seconds to blink to maybe clean it up. I just killed them because you dropped it to begin with. People care way too much about that shit, man. I think it's so funny how many support players are always like, I'm sorry for taking kill. I didn't mean it. It's because you got to you gotta get that preemptive I'm sorry in, right? In case they tilt. In case it's one of those, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to try and farm up for hastened first item. Which, by the way, this matchup will be interesting in probably a painful way. Luckily, we got off to a good start before you got dash online. Shurnabog dash is a pretty hard counter to Freya's kit. Um... It's, it's really painful, man. Which is funny, too, because I played a Freya game earlier that I would have recorded, but I was against Scotty, and Scotty's a terrible matchup, so I didn't record it just because I was going to tilt. I just I didn't want to record it. It actually went well. I just didn't want to play it because um, <laughs> you basically have to auto call her with your core kit for, like, seconds and seconds and seconds, and it's just it's one of the worst matchups in the game, man. Hang on. Do we get to fight this? Okay, this thing is taking forever to spawn. My God. Tell me she doesn't get it. Oh, Kepri. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I stopped hitting it because if we didn't hit it, then uh, then we could have just secured it after. It doesn't matter much. It's not going to do too much. 
Got it. Gilded Arrow is so garbage now, man. We're about we're building it just because it's awkward on any mage ADC to build auto attack damage without it, because you just build way less auto damage naturally. This might turn into a kill someday. Maybe not. Now, look at these autos, man. Oh my god. That's just the two. There's some boys. Wait. Okay, I tripped for a second. I thought I saw five people. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play a little back. Oh, I messed up the whoop. I don't know if I missed or if he was still CC immune. Okay, should be a kill in a sec, I think. Okay, shell is dumb and I hate it. I don't have anything, hang on. Hang on, now she's dead. Yeah, right, and then they're dead. And then they're just all dead. Hang on, get back here. Yeah, about time <laughs> that we get <laughs> that we get 50 kills from a Don's gank. Oh my god, man. Don't mind don't mind five assist Freya ADC with top damage. Don't mind it. I'm okay with it. God, it's funny. We got so much damage. In. It, was, it was a nice Don's gank. I feel like it probably could have been there sooner, yeah? But we got so much damage in beforehand that when it came, oh my god. They just got blown up. Yeah, and honestly, and it doesn't even matter that it was late, because, like, Kepri's obviously dead just because four-man gank, and then, you know, he was the only one that died, so who cares? Anyways, getting back to what I was talking about before we were so rudely interrupted by basically their entire team, um, with Freya in this matchup against Chernabog, he's going to have dash, which he can dash into a wall with, and he can sit in for about three seconds before he dashes again, and our two last six seconds from the moment that we cast it, which means he can just effectively mitigate at least half of our just like using our kit by just dashing into a wall and hiding. And then we have to wait for cooldowns. And while our cooldowns do come up before his dash comes up, it's like, it's ridiculous how much time he can buy for himself of just me not doing as much damage as I otherwise would. I don't think I care that much. Yeah, as long as we don't eat a Nox ult to the face right there and then we turn with cooldowns, I think we're just kind of chilling. She actually dipped? I thought she'd be greedy. I'm pissed, man. I, I was trying to fight that. <laughs> I was ready for my 1v2. Hang on, let's get his dash down. There we go. Gotta be ready to dash into those walls, Chernabog. You better not be doing that too often. I'm gonna be ready to clap. Alright, this isn't up, is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Baka just farmed everybody. Yeah, that's not what we like to see. It is crazy that we didn't get a single last hit in that fight. Uh. Oh, hi. Hang on. What? Okay, I forgot I put that on quick. Whoops. <laughs> I guess he was spooked for some reason, so whatever. Yeah, whoopsies. Didn't mean to cast that yet. So on Freya, we normally want to rush Hastened. I think she's the only god in Smite, including physicals, that I can think of that you actually want to build Hastened first item on. Um, because basically, just you do a lot of damage just by leveling your abilities. You're very immobile because you're just sitting there autoing, and your abilities are basically just, I auto harder forehead. So Hazen's actually really good for giving you PvP potential because it ups your mobility and it basically ups your damage. Um, and it's also actually statted well for it. It doesn't have very much power, but it has more attack speed than anything but Demonic, I guess. Or like Toxic Blade, but whoever would build Toxic Blade first. So like it's actually higher attack speed than uh, like Hecate, for example. So even though it does a little less damage and obviously you don't get lifesteal, you do actually get faster autos, which is nice. All right, let's grab our purple real quick. Well, I have to see if we can fight the Chernabog at all. If we don't get to fight him too much, I'm going to try and rotate pretty quick. Because we do enough damage. Like, I might as well actually, you know, involve myself in the game, right? I don't want to just be sitting here AFK farming. Yeah, he seems so spooked. That was him, right? That was him. Just lurking in jungle. Come here. You going to dash into wall? I'll splash you in your wave, bud. Yeah, you better be dashing. Yeah, he's not dashing into wall. He's going to be goofing with that if he keeps it up. All right, shall we go mid? Do we get to do anything? Is it just me inting? Actually, might get to do something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think anyone's surprised. Oh, Baka! Hang on, big peel. Man, can you just be dead? You take no damage. All right, never mind. Don't be dead. Hey, Sharon. Dude, why does he do this? What? <laughs> Every time he ults, man. Ult, dash away. Stop. I said stop. 
Yeah, we're going for the annoyance build, where we never pop our one, but we slow them a little bit, and they hate it. No, don't have dash. Where are we going? Okay, we don't have mana anymore, so they're probably just good. Yeah, oh. Hang on, hang on, someday. Maybe? The splash? <laughs> Baka, stop it. No. <laughs> what are these fights right now, man? They're so weird. They're so derpy. Hey, do I have money? I do have money. Look at that. Absolutely calculated, boys. I knew we'd get a kill someday, and I knew that kill would give us exact money for Hecat. 100% planned. Anyways, our build's going to be hastened into Hecate, into Demonic, and then from there, we're going to build basically damage, just like power, because you kind of run out of good auto items. Telkine's got nerfed a few patches ago, along with, I think, every ring except uh, Hastened, if I remember right. Maybe even Hastened got nerfed. I don't remember now. It's been a while. Yeah, they decided to nerf Mage ADCs, I think, preemptively, if I remember right. I don't think they actually were good yet, but I think Hi-Rez was just trying to take a stance in advance. Which was not supposed to rhyme. I'm not trying to spit bars. That's like the shittiest bar ever. Okay, don't don't comment about it. All right. Um, yeah. Anyways, they they nerfed rings. We're gonna build a few less rings, or well, one less ring because of that. And we're gonna focus a little more on life steal and a little more a little more on power. We're gonna get a nimble done at some point. Then it'll be super late game. Baka, what we up to? He was over here. I think I heard him for a second. Oh, do you know? Oh, he already has this. Why do you have to? God damn it, man. One thing that's nice, whenever you're in a spot where you're like about to do wave and you're also doing camp, you can just one a camp and then two the wave. Since obviously your one is terrible wave clear. It's kind of a nice little like little micro thing to just farm a little better. Yeah, I gotta say, I think Frey is kind of decent right now. I feel like Frey is almost never decent lately. I feel like she hasn't really been in a long time, but... I think this buff to her too is big enough that while her clear is not great. Oh, there's a gank. Alright, we're gonna chuck a couple of these. Should get enough damage off that we're good. Oh my god, we're turning this. <laughs> that was disgusting, man. The wiggle was so good. Oh my god, that was nasty. Please no random Mert gank. I am begging ya. Okay, he's in solo, we're good. Dude, the bait him just into tower line and then turn immediately. Oh, they were not ready. Think, see, hastened pretty good, right? Imagine trying to live through that without hastened. We just get bopped. I don't get a kite as well. We get a kite so hard with it. It's so nice. All right, let me dip. Let me go do some purple. We're going to life seal up a little bit too. Yeah, next up, we're going to go demonic just because it's a pretty core item on her. It gives you a bunch of attack speed. It's got good pen. And then probably going to be looking at, like, Spear the Magus, because it actually works on her 2-1. Um, Nimble, and then I think there's another item, which we can build probably Typhons for. You should probably stop with Something like that. We're not going to upgrade Arrow. Arrow's really good early game, because it just gives you 20 more damage on your autos, which is nice. Um, if you go, like, another, like, even a Mage Starter, it's not going to do nearly as much. So, like, that's good. You get some, some mana sustain off the Arrow procs. You get some attack speed when you get the Arrow's procs, which obviously gives you way more damage. We, and we still don't have our Demonic money, man. And this isn't even up. Oh, wait, Bach is mid. Hang on, do I get to murder some face? No, he is He is so far back. Are you going to ult me? Or is he ulted mid? What are we doing? He's just going to... Okay. I think he was looking to ult mid. All right, do we go shell? We go shell, 100%. Yeah, their team, Merc... Baka, Chernabog, like, probably good <laughs> into, into that. Make it a little less miserable. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll want to actually upgrade this in the late game. Make sure that we do. Because their autos are going to be slapping. They've got so many of them, too. This is a good 50 shell type of game, honestly. Just every single person builds it. Oh, look at that attack speed. It's so good. All right, let's see if we can rotate real quick. I have some absolutely disgusting farm. Even their Merc solo, who's kind of fed, it seems like. Oh, he did just catch up. I'm gonna say, even compared to him, we're actually more farmed. So if we get a rotate much, we'll definitely do stupid damage. I'm down. Oh, he's just out of range. God damn it, man. Yeah, Chernabog has not been having it, has he? It's honestly not even worth Merc ganking him. I don't think he's worth much money. I think we just get to melt this. 
Nice. Yeah, see, after uh, after wave and purple, maybe we rotate mid, try and force pyro if they don't already yoink it right here. Because I need to get out of this lane, man. Not, <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting tired of this. I want to kill this man. He's not letting me kill him. He's just not having it. He is simply too safe, and I'm not being cringe in zoning. Because it's mostly just not worth. We just get out farm anyways. Yeah, let me just rotate. Oh wait, Pyro's not up? I guess we're not on the way. Because unless we're forcing big FG at 15 minutes, it's not worth it. Oh, here he comes. I guess we're taking tower, boys. I'm assuming he actually ults there. He totally should. Unless they're just not going to fight. Which, I guess they're just not going to fight. Hang on, give me one of these. See, like he gets to do this, but we get to kill it. Hang on. Hang on. Thank you. You're kidding me. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for that splash to kill him. It was just not happening. He was just out of range. I feel bad for him. That was actually, I'm pretty sure he wanted ult right there, but his team just didn't go in ever. Like we, I think we got barely vision on Nox and that was it. And if they were down to fight, that would have been like a really good time for them to fight. It's not like I could have rotated. Hi. Please still have this. Please still have this. Please still have this. <laughs> oh my god. If we ran out of cooldowns too soon, that would have been so bad. We are just kind of dumpstering right now with the Freya. Oh. Yeah, if we had... Oh! Try it. Try it! See what happens. Okay, did he dash out of base? <laughs> Why didn't he dash away? <laughs> it's a good thing we had beats for that if we needed it. By the way, gotta throw that out. Enemy missing. Yeah, like Freya does some damage, right? Anyways, if Baka had ult when he went on us, like there's no way he did. Why would he ever have played it the way he did if he did, if he had ult? But if he had ult, it would have made it harder. I was initially saving Whoop to wait out the CC immune phase of his ult and then Whoop him, but it never happened. So convenient for me, right? Otherwise, otherwise I think we died to Merlin there. I think we still could have killed Baka through his ult. I could be wrong. But Merlin would have been trouble. Alright, what are we doing here, my man? Yeah, we ult in. And honestly, he probably just gets to dip. I don't think anybody's going to be killing him. We'll lurk here just in case. Oh, he already dipped. Yeah, I gotta love Chernabog. The, <laughs> if he's got, if he's actually got the ult up, the good ult. Oh no, I'm getting low. Let me run across the entire map real quick. Good luck. You better hope whoever I ult to has their entire kit up, otherwise I'm gonna dip. Alright, do we actually rotate? We actually rotate. There's not really much of a point in pushing right now. I'm coming. Yeah, we're so close to getting nimble upgraded right here. It's gonna be so good. Merlin? Can I have that face, please? Click. <laughs> it would have been so awkward if I didn't time that right. I was ready. I thought I thought it'd be nice and clean, and it was, but... Oh. Oh. Oh! What are we doing, boys? Oh my god, I splashed on him. That makes it sound like it's something it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I think you're dead. Man, I was gonna whoop him and kill him. God damn it. Alright, well, we fragged too hard that game, boys. I guess we're gonna have to go to game two. Which I'm honestly kind of salty about. Um, <laughs> I wish they didn't have six, because that game was so clean. But yeah, we're not doing an 18-minute video, so... We'll go on to a second game. We'll see how that one goes. I gotta peep the damage, though. Hold up. How much did we do? Was it good? Was it pretty good? I mean, it was a little early in the game, so it doesn't look as crazy, but it was it was pretty good. It was pretty decent, I'd say. Yeah, we'll go on to game two. We'll see what happens.
Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to part two. Uh, this time around, I can't tell who we're laning against. We're either against a Freya, do a little mirror match, or against a Charybdis. I'm assuming, I don't know, they could just do something weird, but I'm assuming we're against one of them. Um, Freya, obviously, <laughs> literally a mirror match. I'm going to say that's probably a pretty even matchup. If we go against Charybdis, it's going to be annoying as hell, but depending on how she plays it, we might be okay. Uh, Charybdis gets to do the whole three second Aegis while doing damage and running at you or running away thing. Which basically means I don't get to use my 2-1 for half of its duration. And then she just fights me in the process. So I'd rather it be the mirror match, ironically. And of course it's not. Um, <laughs> so this matchup, absolutely garbage. We're going to have to be a little bit spooked by it. Uh oh, they do have some wave clear here. They kind of goofed it. They should have one shot. How did they not one shot this man? E set one plus Charybdis one is just kind of free low. Oh my god, the damage, man. Maybe I should have gotten the whoop. I honestly, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't have made a difference, though. Like, I would have whooped into a couple of potato autos. So, I guess it is worth that we got the 2-1. It feels a little bit wrong that we don't get to do even more to Eset there. But just good old Freya 2, man. Doesn't last too long. Yeah, she's going to have root immunity in that. Hang on. Hang on. How much do we get to do? No, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, pretty good trade, considering I just, like, bopped them in their wave. <laughs> I just I just tanked archers and didn't care. Not too bad. They're popping a billion potions, so they're going to start regening up and stuff. And I'm assuming Charybdis probably has Death Toll. She does, yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh, my... Dude, Charybdis Sustain is stupid right now. Look at this. Look at her health bar. Why don't I get one of these? To be fair, I could have bought one, but it wouldn't have done too much. So, yeah. Good thing we got Jing Pokin, too. It's helping. So they're probably going to come pretty online in a second here. Obviously, our clear is mostly what it is right now. Charybdis is about to get her three online, which is going to make a big difference because she just gets a lot of flexibility in terms of how they play fights. So probably want to be chilling a little bit next wave. They're going to start getting pretty scary. It's good, though. I mean, we're off to a good start. They actually have dumb clear, so it's crazy that we've been able to do so well so far. Uh, dead? No, of course we run out. Hang on. Someday, boys. Someday. Splash it. Please? Please? Do we ever get this Jing? Oh my god, man. I thought he'd get cooldown someday. That sucks. Yeah, Jing cooldown's kind of long, I'm pretty sure. It's crazy they never came back up there. God, that sucks so much, man. I tried to weave that one auto I potatoed. I was trying to weave it around Eset's face. And I had to weave it by a lot because Freya autos are kind of chunky. So I was hoping we could get that one just actual, like, full-on auto on a Charybdis so that we could, just, like, uh, not slow her down, but so that we could actually do full damage. Because that would have been the difference maker if we got one that didn't just splash. Okay, hopefully we get a dumpster a little bit. Yeah, she does have some good old self-peel. And then, stupid, <laughs> this matchup kind of blows for Jing, man. He's been doing good work so far, but like, hey, I'm going to root her. Wait, I'm not, because I don't get to do shit. E set one doesn't get knocked up, doesn't get rooted. We do absolutely nothing. Bait the Loki gank. They know. Wait, do they know? That's too bad. If he didn't just, uh, uh oh. If he didn't insta dip, we could have turned with a whoop in a second there. Wait, Thana's kind of feeling it. Hold up. Yeah, we didn't get screwed, which is good. I just assumed minions would probably block that. Hang on. Yeah, they were, they were having a little bit of trouble. I was holding the whoop. I didn't want to troll him, but yeah, we did have it ready just in case. Yeah, thank God. I would have been so mad if he actually got a death scythe on me there while we're just sitting in front of creeps. Or behind creeps? That would have been so obnoxious, man. Nice, considering how much this lane sucks, it's going pretty well so far. We're doing pretty good. Charybdis counters me, Eset counters Jing. In all fairness, Jing does actually do well into Charybdis, so we've got something there. But yeah, this actually should be a really hard lane for us. We're off to a really good start. Alright, let me get some purple buff. We're probably not going to be able to do too much until we get Hasten done. Um, in general, right now, we're able to do stuff just because I have Jing Chan around and he's helping and we're able to actually PvP a lot because they're not just clearing wave like they should be. So when we're just fighting 1v1, or not 1v1, when we're fighting PvP and not having to deal with wave as much, we're doing all right. By the way, he's just holding wave for me. I didn't realize I didn't realize he was going to do it. I'm sorry. I guess he's Jing. He's fine. He's got that dumbass HP 5. He's chilling. He's already healing it up. Yeah, when we have to deal with the, uh, hang on, can I just run at your face? I'll do it. I could whoop Charybdis there, but there's, like, no point, because she just lands in threes. So we get a little baby bit of poke if I actually pop my two, but it doesn't really matter. By the way, we're not going to tend to care too much about Arrow, aside from just getting more DPS any anymore, nowadays. Um, because, look at this. 
Look at this. Three bonus gold. Oh my god. You know what else gives you three bonus gold? Last hitting a minion. Just just without just without gilded. It just it just gives you bonus gold. So yeah, it doesn't do too much. It gives you more than that, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, Arrow does feel a little bad right now in terms of farming money. Nice, she did the thing. Look at that. The whole I don't take your damage from you button. Yeah, the way that we get to play that is uh, basically if I get that cooldown and then get a fighter again before it comes off of cooldown, then we can have a good fight. And that's that's a lot of stuff. I don't think he gets to run at her here. I think we're just going to farm. That's too bad. If he could actually catch up to her, though, I'd definitely go hard. Yeah, we're going to probably just have to mostly farm in this lane. And then if she wants to get aggressive, we can try to get aggressive. Obviously, the downside is at this point, if she's trying to be aggressive, it's probably going to be like, hey, I'm getting ganked. <laughs> let me let me see if I can 1v2. Because so far, she's probably not looking to play too aggro. Let's see, is this actually up? Can we invade this? It's not up, but I can run at her face. You gonna do the thing? Yeah, she did the thing. Can I get this? Easy. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit deleted for it. We got kind of chunked, but worth. We got that mental damage inflicted. Speaking of which, I think uh, I don't I don't know why I said speaking of which. I'm I'm out of it, boys. All right, it's been a weird couple days. Sometimes I might say words that don't make sense. We're gonna keep doing this. This little trade. Wait, why are you trading? See, and this is why she should do that every time, because that went terrible. On my way. Unless it, it wasn't still down, was it? It is a long cooldown, but I feel like it hadn't been very long. Wait, she's goofing. What, Charybdis? Come here. Someone on the other team got owned. Just me <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, she was playing it so simple and so easy for so long, and she's just not feeling it right now. I actually don't get it. There's no way, like, that. there's no way that happened over 20 seconds, right? My sense of time is not just gone, I don't think. Because she did just kind of sit there and eat it. Yeah, obviously we would have won the trade either way, but definitely shouldn't be getting a kill out of that. All right, let me dip. Let's go actually get her hastened. Which will be nice, by the way, for chasing her three. We're probably not going to do it too much, um, but... No better weapon than my own but it does help out. See, let me actually, let me get some wards just in case, because I feel like the only way this lane goes wrong is if we get gank diffed with the way things are going so far. Already got a bit of a lead. She doesn't really have an early game item. She just has Atalantas, so she's not going to hit too hard to begin with. Just building some scaling into the late. I've been seeing, it seems like there's a little trend right now towards getting like some of the first item, uh, like bow type kind of like hybrid items, um, those like power attack speed mixed items. I'll be curious to see if that actually like stays or if that's just a temporary trend. Because I don't think it's worth um, like <laughs> it's it's historically been pretty garbage, which is why it's almost always been go trans or go devos or go heart seeker before it got changed or go blood forge or something like that or go AK ball. AK ball is actually one that's good, but yeah, I'd be very surprised if that really sticks around much, but it, I've been seeing that a little bit lately. All right, let me do one of these. Get some wards up just in case we need them. Yeah, we'll have to see. Right now, I'm not getting ganked at all, so I can probably play crazy aggro until something happens. Which, speaking of which, can we just, like, run behind her right here? Just try and splash her in the wave a little bit. Yeah, you don't really win this anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah, once she once she commits that fight, she's dead as hell. There's actually no way out. Even if she threes, the only way she gets to live at all is if, uh, like, unless she just wins the trade, you know, which isn't going to happen in that spot, at least. But the only way she gets to live at all is if I auto her from range, she threes. She runs away with the three. She just gets too far away. I can't kill her. But whenever we're like taking just trades, I'm just going to be winning right now. Like it's not even close. Unless I goof in 2-1 in the wave, which is dumb. But we're not going to do that. Is the splash damage, man. The splash damage on new Freya 2 is gross. Look at this. Right now, before her prots, and you know, prots are a thing. Even if they're not a crazy strong thing at this stage, you know, being a squishy and all. But we're doing almost 90 damage with the two. Not including the actual auto attack damage, just the two itself does 90, so that's 90 splash. So it's kind of like I'm doing more than golden blading her. Like, I feel like normally, normal god autos are probably doing about 90 right now. I mean, mine are 93, given I'm not a physical, but we do have arrow. And so, yeah, it'd be like golden blade does 100% damage in the AoE. Pretty good, right? 
Yeah, if she actually gets a little bit more online, if she catches up and build a bit, then that'll change. But right now, we just kind of get a run at her, I think. But that's going to change pretty quick, because, like, at this point, I'm not leveling up the two anymore. And the reason we do so much damage is the two. All right, let me farm up a little bit more so we can get Hecate done. Do we go for a, uh... Do we go for a shell against Freya? Probably not, right? We probably just go Aegis this game. It's really nice going shell on Freya and auto attackers, but I feel like it always depends on the matchups, and I think shell versus Freya isn't all that good since she's fairly ability-based. Since most of the damage is from her actual 2-1 and not really her autos. Alright, let's dip. Yeah, look at this lead. Oh my god. She's so behind right now. Yeah, she's scaling super hard. She's just trying to get, like, crit and attack speed online. Which is going to feel pretty bad for her. I guess getting Windyman online will help her mobility a little bit, which actually isn't the worst. Honestly, I feel like the big brain build in this matchup is honestly getting Bloodforge done first so that you get a little bit of move speed because move speed versus Freya is everything. If you get that little extra move speed diff, it's so much harder to stick because we get extra move speed from Hazen and then obviously we get the haste effect from Hazen and a lot of time that makes it easy to just run people down. So Bloodforge move speed could actually come in super clutch if she'd built that. All right, we're going to reward, probably just farm up a bit. I'm, I don't think we get to be too aggro, right? Because she'll probably just be chill at this point. Oh, you got sentries, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I get to be cringe. I get, <laughs> I get to be super cringe. Oh, my God. Yeah, she can't afford to three the banish. So I am actually going to be cringe in zone. Yeah, come here. Look at this, man. It's so dumb. Oh, my God. Yeah, and at that point, if you want to not be zoned and you don't want to just wait out the entire cooldown, then you're just, like, you're just dead. The poor girl. What's going on, boys? What's going on as a team right now? What have I been missing? Not not much. Herc's losing lane a little bit, and I feel like that's basically it. I'm coming, boys. We frag. We do have the hasten back up, too, so I can go really hard right here. What are we doing? Oh, I didn't even expect to get both. That's pretty good. I maybe should have beads that. Oh my god, we don't quite get a reach. Hang on, someday I have an ultimate. Oh, do we just not even need it? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I... What? I should have gotten a slow auto there. I tuned and then specifically didn't one yet. Oh, whoops. Was she still in her thing? Hang on, I'm greedy. We just got our haste back. Now. All right, I might need, I might need to dip a little bit. God, is it dumb if I just do the red buff? I really want to just yoink a red real quick. Is that allowed? Is Cuckoo going to hate me? Wait, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, don't mind the little Freya gank. Oh, this might get bad. I gotta wait out the two. I can't use enough mana. Oh no, we might be dead for this. How did she... What? Dude, Mulan does some damage. I thought we died to Freya. I didn't think there was any way we died to Mulan. That was the only... Okay, she is building literally full damage. I get it. I get it. I can't be mad. I can't be like, oh my god, warriors, high reds. They're not nerfed enough. We need more. I am playing ADC this game, so that would make sense. No, that's actually fair. If you if you go Soul Eater, Bluestone, Brawlers on on Mulan, and then you're also fairly fed, and then you press your buttons, I think they probably should do some damage like this. But my god, that chunked the shit out of me, man. All right, our wards are dead, so we'll grab some more. Or I guess they're dying. Oh, I forgot she was cringing sentry, which, you know... Maybe you can't blame her for doing, for doing some sweaty sentry stuff when lane is going terrible. But I also don't think it's going to matter too much for her. I'm going to send her back just because I want mental dominance. But <laughs> not even because we need it, just because I can. But but yeah. Otherwise, we really don't need it. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, we've been ganked a solid zero times, right? I think. Unless you count invading the red buff and then, and then actually having their team be at the red buff. Then we got ganked. That might count. Are you kidding me? Now we're going to get counter-sentried, man. God damn it. 
I gotta be ready. I gotta whoop her off my ward. Because I'm assuming she's gonna keep that up and not just... Not just leave it be, only do it the one time. Okay, we might go mid again here. Uh oh. Alright, if we if we can, it could be really good right now. We should be able to get a Freya ult. Can you just come here, please? Hey, we got right tower. Look at that. Oh, I thought he would juke. God, Freya hits so hard, man. Oh, we're wiggling on him. Oh, I think he's just dead to the, the whirlwind, yeah? God, our damage is so gross. Okay, none of this. Hang on. Okay, well, Aegis existed. But we do just get a red buff and a billion ults. I don't think I get punished for this, right? I'm assuming we're good. Yoink. A little trebuchet for me, huh? Don't you dare hurt my team. All right, this game around, I don't remember last game, we probably actually didn't even get deep enough in the build for it to matter. This game, if we do get deep enough, which it's looking like we probably will, this game's super even so far. Okay, okay. I actually might get dumpstered in a sec. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm so low. We don't get a life seal off Trebuchet, apparently. My minions! Yeah, that was... What? <laughs> what? Oh, they die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw them just start, like, running back towards their own tower, and I don't know. I guess they needed to bomb me. That was a little, that was a little weird. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, buddy. Anyways, um, with this build, I don't remember if we finished it at all last game. I know we didn't get super deep. But I think we're going to actually build Telkines, which I haven't been building in my Freya builds because it's nerfed. I feel like it's overall a pretty bad item. Um, it's definitely worse on Freya compared to like any other mage ADC because her autos are a little more important to have every single auto have extra scaling on it compared to just having a billion autos in general. But we're going to try it out just for power spike. Because getting nimble done takes forever, uh, which we will still go nimble, but it takes forever. And then I feel like the other items on her just don't feel that good. Like, you can go a little Spear of the Magus, but it's not anything insane. Because you don't get attack speed. Uh, you can go Typhons, but I feel like a lot of the time the lifesteal doesn't matter that much, so... I think we'll just try. Although, I don't know, maybe this game the lifesteal will matter that much. Maybe we do just actually go... Yeah, I might have changed my mind. This game we're brawling enough, it actually might be really good to have a, uh, a Typhons. And she's probably not going to go Divine on Freya. Yeah, it's actually, it's probably worth. Yeah, Charybdis is, uh, she's dipping awfully hard right now. I can't blame her. She's playing all the way back at tier two now. Oh, Freya. Oh, Freya. Come here. Come on. We're not even going to whoop this. There's no point. A little more. Thank you. Thank you. No, I whoop. Okay. Now I whoop. Now you're dead. Nice. Yeah, there's not much you got to do about that, man. Now, Freya damage, it feels pretty good, doesn't it? I still can't tell. I don't know if she's actually insane or anything at the moment, but she definitely hits hard. It takes more than that for Freya to be OP, but she definitely does hit hard. It's just a question of, like, how safe it is to hit this hard on her, right? Like, what she can actually get away with. And I think that depends a lot on, like, situation. Like, I saw her get a little playtime in uh, the SPL today, which there might be more that I've missed, too. But in that game, I think it was Panda playing Freya, and it looked like he got super punished for being Freya. Like, the whole lack of mobility thing definitely ended up catching up to him. But I just kind of skimmed that, so I don't know. There might It might not have even mattered. It might have just been, like, they just focused the shit out of him. And it would have happened to, like, any hunter. Alright, I think we just farm a little bit. I mean, I'm assuming they don't get fire here, right? There's, it's not like I ever get over there to actually, like, fight. So... I'm hoping we don't just lose an FG or anything like that. Team did just get super wiped. But if we can farm up a little bit, we can get Typhons done, which would be nice. And I can try and stick around and make sure they don't do gold at least. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to push a little bit. Which we're not, like, I don't think I can just 1v3 that, so I'm going to chill. I'm going to just do this. And then now I'll rotate as the team starts spawning. All right, they dip. Here, let me make sure they're probably doing pyro. But let me make sure they're not on gold. Yeah, they're probably on pyro. Yep. 
I'm assuming they're not going to do big FG. They're not psychos. It looks like they're not psychos. Yeah, we need a little bit more farm for Typhons before I back. I want to be greedy. Wait, hold up. Perk's looking for stuff. All right, I think we have money, right? 2,800? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like um, in general, Typhons is a pretty nice Freya item, but it's sort of a weird Freya item because normally you're going to build lifesteal, you're going to have lifesteal from passive, and so upping that with Typhons is nice and getting penetration is nice, but you get 70 power. So you do get up it a little bit with the Typhons passive, but it's not like a very high power item and you, you don't get attack speed. So overall, the DPS kind of sucks, but the other stuff can be really good. Ow. Damn, I actually got really chunked there. What even hit me that did so much? Just Mulan ult? Actually, just Mulan ult. Although I keep forgetting, I just played a game against a Mulan support, and I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting this is a high damage Mulan solo. So that's kind of throwing me right now. All right, this should be pretty easy for us to fight, I think. Oh, she is bucking it. Herc? Herc? This does Oh, it does reach. Can you not? All right, well, we just got to sit here and wait. Good old, <laughs> good old Freya cooldowns, man. Dude, the stupid, oh my God, the stupid walls. It's so obnoxious sometimes trying to get like, I wish I could splash them. I wish I could chuck these autos in the wall. Realistically, that's what it happened. Hi res, please. Like not only can they just block so much to begin with because they block the autos, but they block the splash. It's crazy how much walls matter in these jungle fights. Click. Oh. Okay, we blocked a decent bit. Oh no. I goofed that, didn't I? Thank God. Where's this Dana at? Dana? Hello? Oh, found him. Nice. Well, at least we get to clean him up. I feel <laughs> it had to be either me or Cuckoo, but at least we get the kill. Oh, are you done? Oh, is she not done? Oh, I actually thought she was trolling. I think she just thought the dive was dumb. Oh, no. No! <laughs> okay, I'm going this way. We do have Hastened in a sec, so I can be absurdly greedy if she wants to chase. But I really probably shouldn't, yeah? Are you what? <laughs> that was the most random spirit bomb, man. Oh my god. I thought that, uh, I thought it would take enough time because she'd have to see me, I assumed, that we could just ult over the spirit ball since we get instant fray ult and all that. It's not old fray ult where you get hit on the way up. We can just dip. But no, she just pre fired that shit, man. Oh my god. They had to have had a random ass word on red. That actually sucks so much, dude. Because otherwise we get away with it. It's so easy. I can ult over her spirit ball or we can just like or we just two one her and we just like do so much lifesteal that like I'm just I'm fine. Right. We just heal up and we're good. But no, I guess not. All right. I think we're just going to work on nimble. Uh, we're not going to upgrade into arrow because I feel like arrow basically sucks. I feel like it's really, really bad. It's very hard for us to proc the attack speed. Um, like maybe the best one is ornate. Cause the issue is if we're not PVEing, like we basically need a kill, which is dumb. You don't want to get, you don't want to have to get a kill for this to give you attack speed. So we're just buying basic attack damage. And that's not really that worth on Freya. Like we're getting to that point in the game where just buying magic power ends up overcompensating. Cause early game, that's not true. Early game, you can't buy anywhere near enough magic power for it to be better, but late game you can, so. We're going to leave Arrow as it is. We actually probably sell it soon in order to get a uh, an item upgrade. And then we'll probably go either like a Greedy Polly or like Spear of the Magus or, or something to, to round the build out a little better after we get Nimble done. Actually, speaking of which, how much lifesteal do we have? 45? Yeah, so uh, going like Polly or Spear would be fine. Wouldn't overcap. See if we clean this up at all. Oh my god, he is zooming. How am I supposed to kill this man? I still want to fight him, but I don't think we get to. 
<laughs> what is this move speed? He has regrowth, okay. Like, I know he's Thanatos, but my god, man. Uh, let's not get silenced if we can. That not whoop him? Dude, this man is simply too fast. I'm not okay with this. Hang on, we do get hastened again. Please. Just be dead. Just take it. Thank you. Is that a whoop? Oh, no. Oh my god, please let me hit him. Thank you. Alright, tower OP. Come on. Tower do tower things. We good? We done here? It looks like we're good. I gotta be obviously pretty careful in this fight with the whole being <laughs> being less than half of Freya's health and the same god type thing. We should be ahead and build, but yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard. See, I probably just shouldn't fight this. I'm just too greedy, man. Actually, honestly, honestly, let's just not. <laughs> I'm a little too worried about the Mulan. If there wasn't a Mulan around, I think I'd maybe still be greedy, but uh, but she's up and she's able to just, I'm assuming she can TP in, right? Does she have that? Oh, I guess she can walk in. Yeah, right, let's get nimble. One of the things that's kind of awkward for Freya is until you get absolute full build, and sometimes, I mean, even if you do get full build, like, look at this. We do have Gilded Arrow, so there's still an item slot to fill. These rings give us little enough power, and Typhons gives us little enough power, that I have 505, which isn't anything crazy. And then, that's just like, we don't get, uh, we don't get as many nimble procs. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of other gods, it's easier to actually build enough power, but because you actually want the ring so badly on Freya, because attack speed matters so much, in a way, Nimble's not even as good. Which is kind of weird. Like, it's such an expensive item, and you don't get a crazy amount of attack speed out of it. It really might just be better to go, uh, go Telkines. Okay, I don't have relics for this fight. We'll probably be a little bit more chill for a bit. Because I definitely feel like I've been getting a little bit lucky to get away with as much as I have. But we're just not catching all that much damage. And I don't know if it's just because I'm life stealing so much or what. But they definitely do have plenty of damage that we've just been getting through so far. So relics are probably going to matter soon. All right, hopefully we just get to kill him off this. <laughs> what is that interaction, man? Oh my god. Hey, wait, Pyro? Thank you. I had, I had to do it. It was right there. Right for the taking. Wait, that's stunned? Okay. Oh my god, I am pumping out damage on this girl. Oh, that works. Didn't expect to be whooping a Than ult, but... Uh... That's not good. <laughs> I'm gonna go run away now. Do I have relics coming up someday? Is he actually gonna keep chasing? Are they just gonna run at me? All right, no sitting in these. No, come on. Let's go. All right, are they? Yeah, I was going to say, are they on fire for this? Tell me they don't get this. <laughs> come here. All right, whatever. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Oh, my God. How did they tank that for so long? I got so bopped so fast. <laughs> That's such a greedy fire call, man. If they had, well, the funny thing is if Thana didn't chase, I wasn't going to go back in there. That was suicide. I'm not trying to go 1v3 without an ultimate up. I mean, even if I had ult, I don't know if I would have wanted to 1v3 that. But since Thana went off to like pick me or zone or, or whatever, they just don't have the DPS. They don't just get to freely do it. Whereas otherwise they totally should have been fine. All right, let me grab a little purple upgrade before we actually go back and get our last item. Which, what should the last item be? I feel like Spear's feeling like a good option this game. I'm definitely doing a lot of just big bursts on a single person, and Spear's perfect for that. But I don't know if there's anything else that'd be good. Maybe we just go ring, honestly. It kind of... Hmm. We do overcast... I don't know. If we don't have upgraded purple, it's still good. Like, the attack speed's a little unnecessary. Yeah, let's just, you know what? Let's just go Telkines. Let's see how much Telkines damage does. I feel like it's probably not realistically worth. It's probably better to just go Spear, because a lot of this attack speed isn't too needed, but we'll see. Do 
we even get to do anything with this fire? I'm pretty sure me and uh, Jing? Herc? Somebody? I think one of the tanks has fire other than me, and that's it. So I don't even know if we really get a push off this. This has been such an even game. I'm really surprised. Because lane went ridiculously well. And I feel like other lanes didn't really go bad. But it just didn't end up mattering all that much. Okay, well, I think we just get a run at ESAT now. Oh, okay. I thought minions were going to block that, so I just, like, preemptively ulted, and that was a big waste. Well, that's not where she went. Fine, just in case, just in case. We weren't going to die, but I thought I might get super bursted. <laughs> I don't know how easy it is to lifesteal that. Uh oh. Oh my god, man. He's so fast. Maybe? No, none of that. <laughs> Alright, there is a tower, boys. We doing okay. I thought I thought Herc wanted to just straight up like start hitting Phoenix already. I thought he was just ready. Okay, Cryptus Ultra is so funny in this matchup, it's so awkward. Cause uh <laughs> Because if she actually ults, it's such a long channel time, I just kind of blow her up. So unless it hits, she's just screwed. And then if it hits on IB, it's, she's still screwed. They are spawning. This actually could go bad. Oh my, okay, never mind. <laughs> Apparently Cuckoo does a shitload. Oh my god. I legit thought that thing was still half HP when it died. Oh, they f 6 Okay. I guess that makes sense. Is that what happened? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so Freya pretty good. At least, you know, in the games we had, definitely felt like Freya pretty good. Um, I think she's very capable of being put behind early just by focusing the shit out of her. But I also don't think it matters all that much. Because with the current way that the, the game works, late game is so much more important. And there's just a lot of potential survivability under towers. That even if you struggle early, whether it's through dying or just getting out pressured like losing purple buffs or whatever, you can just come back and be free a late game, and that's still good. So I think as long as your player is smart enough, she's disgusting, and, <laughs> and obviously she does a lot of damage, right? So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame i'm sitting here in this empty room walls keep tumbling down